now there is a time for children message. We open it with a jingle. And today I want to talk to you children and adults alike about how originally people imagined that the heavens were structured. And for that, I prepared some tools. So over here, I hope you can see it. I have my model of heavens. And we will start populating it because of course in the heavens there are heavenly beings or the people thought that they were and they were structured very seriously because they lived in different kingdoms and empires they very often imagined that the world that the heaven was structured like their kingdoms or the royal houses and so, of course, we don't see here because God is invisible, but God would be over here at the top. And next layer, we will put some angels who are in constant presence of God. They'll have different names for them but they'll be there. I, I opted here for dogs because they are so faithful. They are with wings. Uh, they are so faithful and they are always with us and they would never leave us. So we have here the first layer of angels. Next layer will be in between. And here we have another layer of angels another rank coming here and these angels at the top are never really leaving the presence of god these second layer they have a responsibility for taking messages and commands from up there through that first layer of angels down here and below and below we have these working angels and we put them here and there are those angels who are going in between heaven and earth the world in heaven and the world on earth and here we have the representation of the heaven as the people imagined that in new testament times and through the medieval times imagine that this is very simplified because in jewish tradition they would not have three ranks of angels they would have 10 ranks of angel but i would not fit them on my small heaven uh, and in roman catholic tradition in scholasticism those were like medieval theologians they were called scholastics they had nine layers of angels so instead of nine i have here just three representing each layer of those angels and these will be always in the presence of god these will be going in between and these are the angels which are coming down to earth and are in contact with what is going on on earth and the lowest of lowest among them were so-called guardian angels those angels which are personal and which are providing us help now this is highly structured heaven it looks like royal or imperial court like in some castle or palace you know what jesus 
took a revolution to this structure and turn it upside down one when once when he talked with his disciples who were so preoccupied who will be high in heaven and who will be low in heaven he told them about respecting the little ones children and the poor and then he told them don't even think to disregard and neglect the little ones the powerless i tell you their guardian angels have direct access to my father in heaven now think about it what would need to happen that these angels will have direct access to god over here it is very easy just look And here we go. It's a revolution. We turn it upside down. The first will be last and the last will be first. We know that because Jesus said that number of times. And here it is hidden in this message about the guardian angels having access to God all the time. So it does not need to go through several intermediaries, those several angels who go in between, they can go directly to God. And that is a great joy for all of us who occasionally get in trouble because we know that our prayers are carried directly to God regardless whether we are little or big unimportant or important in fact those least regarded among people are those closest to divine heart and that is a great joy and encouragement for all of us so let us pray gracious god we thank you that you look closely to that what is happening to the weakest and poorest in the world we are thankful for that and we want to be angels for those people as well praying and interceding on their behalf amen now we will close the children message.